forewarned weather with Damian Lotus. We had a cloudy start here for your early Monday morning or your early Tuesday morning, but this afternoon we saw sunny skies, highs made it back into the 80s. It ended up being a pretty nice day, but as we head into tonight, watching out for another risk of some thunderstorms here across parts of the state. Here's the outlook of severe weather as we head into the overnight hours between about now and sunrise. It's primarily going to be for eastern and northeastern Oklahoma. And as of right now, starting to see a line of thunderstorms developing across southwestern Missouri. This is going to be the area I'm watching here as we head into the overnight hours. But as of right now, not really tracking much of anything here for majority of the state. But a cold front will sweep its way through late tonight. That's going to bring some big changes. Partly cloudy skies outside right now, 69 degrees. That's a pretty mild evening here for early April in Oklahoma. Across the rest of the state, we have 60s and 70s, but enjoy it because as you look across the panhandle, that cold front sweeping its way through, dropping temperatures already into the low 50s. And look at these winds out here, 30 to 40 plus mile an hour wind gusts already developing across parts of the state. Heading into tonight, partly cloudy skies, and once that cold front sweeps its way through, we're going to see winds out of the north gusting 30, 40, even 50 miles an hour. In some parts of the state, the wind gusts are going to be higher than the air temperatures, and we're going to get down to 45 degrees tonight for Oklahoma City. It's going to be chilly. We'll even see some sub-freezing temperatures across the Oklahoma panhandle. And for tomorrow, your adoptable pet, hey, this is Frodo, and Frodo here is available for adoption from Country Roads Animal Rescue. And for tomorrow, we'll see plenty of sunshine, but it's not going to be quite as warm as we saw today. No 80s but we will make it to the mid 60s, so overall not too bad. It will be dry tomorrow, it'll be sunny, and it will be windy. Winds out of the northwest gusting 30 to 40 miles an hour with those highs making it to the mid 60s. Looks like we'll get up to 66, the high for Oklahoma City, Moore and Norman, 67 tomorrow, the high for you folks in Chickasha, so overall not too bad, except when you factor in the winds and how dry it's going to be. Elevated fire danger, critical fire danger for northern and western Oklahoma, especially northwestern parts of the state. We're going to see very dangerous fire conditions here as we head throughout your Wednesday afternoon. For Thursday, I'll be tracking a little bit more cloud coverage in the forecast. Highs will stay stuck in the upper 50s to low 60s. Plenty of winds, though. That's going to be the main theme here for the week. And then as we finish out your work week on Friday, partly cloudy skies, driving north winds once again with highs, upper 50s, low 60s. So almost a carbon copy of Thursday's forecast. And then looking into early parts of next week, this is going to be our next risk for severe weather. This is going to be Monday the 11th, late Monday into early Tuesday the 12th. We'll see a chance of severe weather here possibly for central Oklahoma. This will include large hail, damaging winds, and even a tornado threat. So I'm going to keep my eyes on that here as we head into next week. But in the meantime, sunny skies, highs in the 60s after a chilly start for your early Wednesday. Thursday and Friday don't look too bad either. The weekend is what really looks good. We'll see highs in the 70s on Saturday. Sunday will make it to the 80s with a little bit of cloud coverage. But after that, heading into Monday, that's going to be that risk of severe weather I was talking about. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we're going to continue to watch that, and I'll keep you forewarned. All right, Damian, thank you as always. Former 